Okay, Matt, let's take a look at some email questions we've pulled in over the past couple of weeks. We had a question from Jay Otto in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. He says, I love your podcast and I enjoy listening to you on the other podcasts as well. Thanks, Jay. You know, I like being on those podcasts. I think he's talking about me, Matt, but I'm not sure. He had a question on REITs, <laughs> and I'm going to give you this question, Matt, because you're a REIT guy. Is there any difference in investing in REIT stocks versus other equities? I think I've heard in the past that there are different tax implications with these stocks. Is that true? Yes, that is absolutely true, um, provided that you hold them in a taxable account. Most dividend stocks quali- or have what are called qualified dividend status. Which gets favorable tax treatment. Um, think long-term capital gains rates are the same rates that apply to qualified dividends. So, generally, most people pay a fifteen percent dividend tax rate if you're in any of the middle tax brackets. Um, so, if you have a REIT, though, it's considered pass-through business income for the most part. So, you are generally taxed at your ordinary income tax rate for a REIT. Now, there are a couple kind of caveats to mention. One, your REIT dividend is actually a combination of a qualified dividend and a non-qualified dividend, just depending on the quarter and the particular REIT. Most of it is usually ordinary income with a little bit that you'll get a favorable tax treatment on. The second thing is that, thanks to the tax reform bill, REITs are actually considered qualify for that pass-through deduction um, as small business income. Um, so whatever income you do get from REITs, you can take a 20% deduction for that before your ordinary income tax rates are replied. So, there's a lot of moving parts here. The situation is definitely a little more complicated with REITs than it is for other stocks. But that's why I love to, I always recommend REITs in retirement accounts so you don't have to worry about this. But yes, if you hold them in a regular brokerage account, there are big tax differences. And the long story short is that REITs are a little more complicated. <laughs> 